I will be discussing whether Indian constitution is truly federal or whether it is quasi-federal. Now, federalism is a system of government under which the governmental powers are divided at two levels. That is between the national government at the center and the regional governments at the periphery. A cursory look at the provisions of the Indian constitution would suggest that it possesses all the essential characteristic features of federalism. You know, there are six essential features of federalism. First is supremacy of the constitution. A federal state derives its existence from the constitution. So every power, whether it is executive, legislative, or judicial, irrespective of whether it belongs to the national government or the regional governments, is controlled by and subordinated to the constitution. Now, do we have supreme constitution in India? Yes. It is Suprema Lex. Article 13, we have studied in the last semester, which says state 13.2, states shall not make any law which either takes away or abridges any of the rights guaranteed under part three of the constitution, that is fundamental rights. And to the extent of such contravention, law be wide. Now, law is defined as rules, regulations, bylaws, notifications, orders, ordinances, even customs and usages having force of law. So, whether it is legislation or subordinate legislation, and whether it is made by the national legislature or national government, or regional legislature or regional government, that doesn't matter. Because all laws are made subjected to the fundamental limitations in part three. Second essential feature of federalism is written constitution. Now, United Kingdom does not have a written constitution. Is it a federal country? Yes or no? Is United Kingdom a federal country? No. It's a unitary country. Because a federal system cannot exist without a written constitution. See, federalism, the foundation of federalism is 